You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world?
Those are nice shoes. Huh? Oh, thanks. I just got them for this interview. Yeah, you ready? Not really. I hear this guy eats college students for lunch. Really? Yeah, I, I hear he's real tough. Holly, Mr. Keating's ready to see you now. Well, wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Finishing up my luncheon appointment.
And that's just one tasty bite of what it's like to be a Babson grad. Everybody, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a second. And when we come back, we'll be back with Professor Robert Kopp. Stick around for a second. <laughs> You have to be pretty smart to get into Cardinal Key, but you'd be pretty stupid to miss the topless car wash tomorrow from 2.30 to 5.30 in Trim Lot. $4 per car, proceeds to benefit the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. That's where we end it, right there. Hey, everybody! We're back. My first guest tonight is one of Babson's favorite professors and has been voted the best professor of the college numerous times by the students, and he's soon to be promoted to the head of the marketing department this next semester. Everybody, let's give a warm welcome for Professor Robert Kopp, everybody. <laughs> Professor Kopp, how are you? Professor Kopp, everybody, have a seat. You know, Professor Kopp, you know, the usual typical thing we do here is I interview you and you banter on and on, and these people pretend to laugh. But I figure while we had you out here, we use your marketing knowledge to, you know, put it to some good use and actually give these people some knowledge that they could take home, you know. I don't know if you know this, but there's a recent program on campus called the FME program, where the freshmen have a management experience. Right. But a lot right. of the products really don't go too well. I'll show you a couple. I got a couple right here. Maybe you can give us some marketing insight. I heard they were pretty successful. Some Seattle. of them were, but okay. these actually weren't. Right. Okay. Our first failed FME product shows how many FME products have gone overboard in, in the delivery service. The old Jello service was just too slow. Now there's new Craig Derryberry just in time Jello with real Craig Derryberry flavoring. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about that, Professor Kopp? Uh, that was test marketed down in Georgia. Yeah. The dairy berries are indigenous down there. Exactly. They're used but, to the flavor. <laughs> Went over real big, Pete. Here it didn't go too well. Big anyway. Item. Big item in Georgia. Right. Yeah. Our next uh, product that failed, I don't know why it failed, but it was a really good product, you know, uh, came from the need for more evasive and concealable cheating products, you know. Oh, no. Because you know, cheating is a big thing at the campus. You know that. I, I know. did not know that. The new Professor Alvapez Cheat Sweets dispenser, you see there, shaped like a cigar. And what it's, see, it looks, it's very easily concealable, and it emits candies with actual formulas that you can use in the exam. You know, you just pull it back, <laughs> take it out, and if you know, if the teacher comes around, it's gone. You know, cheat sweets. I think it works pretty well. Well, didn't work too well. I guess the faculty didn't like it. Anyway, this next failed FME product features one of Babson's senior managers, Carl Citron. He's the trim manager, if you guys don't know him. A recent increase in demand for new drinks has yielded new absolute Carl Citron. <laughs> I mean, it sounds terrific to me. It sounds great. It looks like he smashed on the bottle, actually. I happen to have some information about this. Piece. Really? This was tested with the assessor model. Really? Yeah, you know, trial and repeat? Yeah. It got excellent trial, zero repeat. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> People were too smashed to buy it again. It's the Carl Citron yeah, oh, yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. Our next kit, I say, I could really associate with this product. It's, you know, because I'm entering the job market soon. You know, don't struggle with that next big interview. Get the new OCS job hunting kit. I really need that job kit. It has everything you need to get the product, you know, to get the really big job. But you know, inside, I don't know, I just didn't think I needed it because it came with knee pads and lipstick. Oh, no. I, I don't know. I mean, it seemed good. Not politically correct. No, no, no. I mean, the, the knee pads were comfortable, but I just didn't work. I don't know. But groveling but, uh, is a big part of getting your first job. I know. Our last product here. It's true. I mean, one thing I learned about that, you know, a lot of students come to this school with the idea that they're going to be either investments majors 